Hi everyone, it's Miss Melissa here with your weekly middle grade book tasting. Today I will be talking about Two Night Owl from Dogfish, written by Holly Goldberg Sloan and Meg Wolitzer. It is published by Dial Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Penguin Random House, and they've given us the kind permission to read part of it. So, Two Night Owl from Dogfish, I think is a perfect summer book because it is about these two uh, young girls that end up at a summer camp together because their dads have fallen in love and have decided that the girls need to be best friends. So they send them off to summer camp where of course they get into all kinds of trouble. Um, and it's a really great story of friendship. Um, what I really like about it is that it is written by two authors, and so the authors um, go back and forth on who's writing the characters. It's also an epistolary novel, which means that it is written in mostly emails, um, but also letters to each other. So it moves along really fast. It doesn't have chapters, but I'm gonna to read to you the first few pages of it. If you like the book, um, we have it available at the library in physical book form. We also have the audiobook on CD. It is also available through Overdrive. We have the audiobook and the ebook on there. So here we go. Two Night Out from Dogfish. One day in early April. Now again, this is an email. From Bette Devlin to Avery Bloom. Subject, you don't know me. You don't know me, but I'm writing you anyway. This could go into your spam. Maybe you're the kind of person who checks the spam. I don't. I found your email address online. You have a strange name. I never met anyone named Avery, but that made it easier to find you. So thank you for having that name. Also, thank you for going to a school that posts pictures of field trips and uses first name dot last name at the shipfieldschool.org and gives students their own email. I don't go to that kind of school. So this is awkward, but I'm just gonna say it. Your dad and my dad met three months ago in Chicago at a building expo, which was at the downtown Marriott. I'm not going to explain how I know, but they are now a couple. That isn't my business. Only it is my business because my dad wants to send me to a place called CIGI this summer. I never heard of CIGI. The website says, Challenge, Influence, Guide, Inspire. That was cut and pasted. Those words are how they got the name. CIGI is a summer program in Michigan for inquisitive tweens and teens ages 10 to 15. You could already be bored reading this email, but guess what? You are supposed to go to CIGI too. I'm not going. It doesn't matter what my dad says, but maybe if you won't go to CIGI either, it will stop him from trying to force me to go. That's what I was writing you about, Bet Devlin. From Avery Bloom to Bet Devlin. Subject response, you don't know me. I think you are confused and have the wrong person. If my papa was in a relationship with your dad, there is a 100% chance I would know about it. We're very close, and it's been just the two of us almost my whole life. So we're best friends and he tells me everything. As for my school, it's helpful to have your own email so you can write to a teacher in the middle of the day to ask about a project. Miss Pickering sometimes responds in five minutes. No one from outside my school community or family has ever found my email address before and written to me. The school might need to upgrade their privacy and security settings. I will post a note online. About CIGI, my friend Callie Workman's older sister went there last summer. 
I am signed up for the eight week session. It's kind of a creative nerd camp. At CIGI, you take classes called Booking Around and Exotic Robotic. And you also do archeology span searches for real fossils in Dig This. Plus, they have microwave popcorn at night for Shut Eye Cinema, where they show a foreign movie before bed, and everyone talks about it together looking for themes. The best part is they don't force you to do sports. I am not athletic, and also, I hate to swim. I have some excessive worries, eating expired foods, getting a disease, etc. But drowning is the biggest one. You will never have to go to CIGI. I'm the only one of us going there. Avery A. Bloom. P.S. I'm 12 and I live in New York City. My papa is an architect. Even though you sent your email to the wrong person, I'm curious. How old are you and where exactly are you from? From Bette Devlin to Avery Bloom. Subject response response, you don't know me. I'm also 12 and I live in California, but I've been to New York City. It was the summer and really hot and crazy crowded. I felt sorry for the people there, but super sorry for the animals. My dad constructs swimming pools and fountains, anything with water. He doesn't design the stuff, he builds it. So your dad is an architect? Usually my dad is fighting with architects. You said your dad shares everything. Do you see your dad's text messages? Every time my dad hears his phone ping, he smiles. Like, ha ha ha, oh, this guy just kills me. I've been camping lots of times, but I've never been sent to camp. We don't have money for that. My dad wants me to go because of you. He wants me to be your friend. No offense, but that's not something I'm going to do. Bet Devlin. From Avery Bloom to Bet Devlin. Subject, response, 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 you don't know me. Bet. How do I know you aren't some kind of hacker from Ukraine? You don't say the Ukraine, you just say Ukraine, which makes sense because you wouldn't say the France. And this is all a scam to get me to reveal the details of my life so that you can drain my bank account or maybe something worse. It's savings only, just so you know, and it's for college. I'm going to be very careful in answering your email. I check the Google Calendar I share with my papa, and he was in Chicago in February at a building expo, but that proves nothing. My papa is not here this weekend. He's in San Antonio for work. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but just so you know, I'm not home alone. There is an adult here in the apartment with me. Plus, this is a doorman building, and since a famous person lives upstairs, not that famous, they are always careful with security. I could text my papa right now and clear this up. I'm going to do that because I'm not allowed to be communicating online with people I don't know. You won't hear back from me because you have the wrong person and the wrong dad, although you did have the right camp. But that's some kind of weird coincidence. Avery A. Bloom. From Bet Devlin to Avery A. Bloom. Subject, response, 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 response. You don't know me. It's not a work trip to San Antonio. Your dad's with my dad in Texas. My dad is not lying to me, but he is still lying. He told me he was going to see his mom. Her name is Betty. I'm named after her, but I got rid of the Y for obvious reasons. Betty, I call her Gaga lives in a small town two hours from San Antonio. My dad is so into your dad that he wants the original Betty to meet him. This is serious, Bet Devlin. From Avery Bloom to Bet Devlin. Subject, response, 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 response. You don't know me. I want you to know that I've sent a text to my papa and I haven't heard back. This is very unusual, but it doesn't mean anything. I also want to say that when you write in all capital letters, it feels like you are yelling at me. And cyberbullying is a very important topic of our time. And side note, you are lucky to have a grandma, even one who lives two hours from San Antonio, if that's even something real. My family circle is very small. 
but that's private information. Avery A. Bloom. From Bet Devlin to Avery Bloom. Subject, response, 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 response. You don't know me. Just to make this equal, here is something private about my family while we wait for your dad to return the text message. I had two dads, but one died when I was little, so I don't remember him. For 11 years, it's just been me and my dad. It has to stay that way. We've got everything we need. My dad's never taken anyone to meet his mom since we lost Philip. Did your dad return your text? What's he telling you? Bet Devlin, not from Ukraine, but from the Venice, California. P.S. Here's hoping we never meet in person. All right, that was just a brief taste of it. I hope it intrigued you enough that you go ahead and read the rest of the story. It's a good one. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, or you'd like to share with us any projects, books you've been reading, please email us at kids at lcplin.org. Have a good day, everyone.